Since 2020, Team Blue discontinued the Super 10 era in Europe and the UK. Due to Euro 5 emission regulations, the Adventure Tour is still available on the North American market, but the XT1 E200Z's exit leaves a huge hole in the brand's lineup. Of course, if Yamaha can plunk the CP3 into an all-new heavy middleweighted DV, it could certainly draw in budget-minded long-distance adventure riders. Based on the information gathered, the current Tanier A700 styling, and the New World Raid edition, a French digital artist, Nicolas Petit designed a Tanier A900 rendering. According to French media outlet Moto Station, Iwata ain't done leveraging the CP3 engine. Armed with unspecified information, the outlet claims that Yamaha is deep in development of a new Tenere 900 with the Pepe CP3 triple at its core. As with the new Tenere 700, the rear should receive a revised linkage along with the new piggyback shock absorber that fully adjustable, it should provide a more progressive feel to the rear wheel travel, while a new rubber stop should reduce shock when the bike is used at the limit. For a little more front wheel stability, this Tanier A900 is expected to adopt an Earthlands adjustable steering damper. As a heavier ADV, the Tanier A900 takes on larger proportions than the T7, but shares similar design elements such as a rally-inspired design, a steel tube frame, and rugged colorways. Unlike the Tanier A700 though, Petit added a 19-inch front wheel for additional on-road touring capabilities. Should Yamaha drop the CP3 into a potential T9, the triple-powered adventure bike would likely lose the Super 10 RA shaft drive in favor of a chain final drive. The Yamaha would also go up against the heavy hitters in the heavy middleweight adventure class, such as the KTM 890 Adventure and Triumph Tiger 900. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait for Team Blue to acknowledge the development of a 10 RA 900 before we can confirm these rumors. So, what do you think, guys?